Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob with a Phoenix Fruit, awaken it, and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam? Oh, there it is! Forward, that's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, so before we start grinding, let me first show you how much this fruit costs. If you will buy it on the stock, it will cost you 1.8 million bellies. Or if you want to buy it using Robux, it will cost you 2,000. I hope that this video will help you decide whether to buy this fruit or not. Okay guys, so are you ready to grind? Let's go! As usual, we have the bandits for our first quest. As for our first skill, we have the cannon. Guys, this skill is multi-target. That's a good point. But make sure to hit them from above. Our goal here is to reach level 13. For the stats, melee 30, block fruits 8. Next island is the Fountain City. There are no quests here yet, but you can start defeating the Gali Pirates. As you can see, as long as there's a wall in between you, there is no damage. If you notice that we allotted lots of stats on the melee because we're gonna use our left clicks first. But make sure to use the Z skill of your Phoenix Fruit when last hitting your enemy. But why Gamer Nom? Because by doing this, you will gain lots of mastery for your Phoenix Fruit. And with that 31 mastery, we will unlock our flight skill, the hybrid flight. There you go. So now we can fly on different islands without needing a boat. Continue defeating Gali Pirates until you reach level 55. Yes guys, 55. And before we move on to our next island, stat check, melee 50, defense 25, block fruits 90. Next area is the Pirate Village. Our target mob here is Bobby or Buggy the Clown. So guys, don't get scared of getting hit. That's fine. We can tank his damage given that you follow the stats. Guys, if you wanna dodge it, just create distance. There you go. Just move sideways and you will dodge it. Again, we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 75. Attack, melee 64, defense 44, block fruits 117. Next up is the desert. So here our target is the desert officers again a reminder hit them from above so that you won't need to lure again so make sure to aim properly so that you can save time okay that's my technique here so guys keep grinding here until you reach level 96 okay 96 or 97 that's good and when you reach that level next area is the frozen village if you have the money go straight to the cave look for the ability teacher and buy everything he sells it will cost you 135,000 to buy everything and after that, grind the snow bandits. The strategy is the same with the desert officers so don't worry, if you don't wanna jump, just go on top of the houses. Okay, the goal here is 105 and next up is the Yeti. Gamernom, is there strategy here with the Yeti? Yes, just go on top of a tree, use your Z skill until you defeat him. Very easy, right? But Gamer Gnome, he keeps getting stuck on different areas. Guys, the technique is lure him until he goes under the tree and keep on hitting him. Make sure that your cursor is pointing towards the Yeti. There you go. Just keep on hitting him until he dies. The good thing here is you don't need to lure him again. Guys, listen, we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 150. Don't worry with the experience. At 148, you need 196,000. This mob will give you 220,000, okay? So for the stats, melee 100, defense 100, blast fruits 250. Next is the Marine Fortress. Our target here is the Vice Admiral. So guys, my technique here is look for an area where you can squeeze the Vice Admiral. If you use your Z skill, he won't go that far. He won't use his range attacks. By the way, at Master 90, we've already unlocked our Generation Flame. So I really don't like using this skill. Because if you get hit while doing this, it will get cancelled. And also, it costs lots of energy. Okay, so back to the Vice Admiral again, look for a close space, use your Z skill until you defeat him, and that's it. Okay, wait, what? Oh guys, wrong quest. <laughs> anyway, continue grinding here guys, we're gonna do server hop again until you reach level 220. But in the process, you will unlock your fourth skill, the fast kick, the C skill, and this skill for me is really good in one-on-one -on -one fights because again this is only single target damage but the cooldown is really short okay so again we're gonna grind here until you reach level 220 before we move on to our next island stat check melee 167 defense 167 and blast fruits 326 
next island is the prison so we have three bosses here first is the warden guys we're gonna do the same strategy with all of them we're gonna lure them in a close area because our skills has a knockback effect and that guys is not good because it will make things slower okay so again we're gonna server up here so guys at 230 chief warden same strategy and at 240 we're gonna defeat swan right guys we will get damage but don't worry we have the regeneration flames to help us regenerate our hp and after that, you can use your skills again. With this strategy, we're gonna do server hop until you reach level 350. We're gonna check our stats first before we move on to our next island. Melee 225, same with defense, block fruits 600. For our next island, we have the Magma Village. Guys, I'm gonna tell you a strategy, and I will call this the Magma Strat. Because every time we don't have a wall strat or a rock strat, we will use the Magma Strat. So how does it work? First, use all your skills. Z and C skill and after that dodge to the side dodge these skills and use your skills repeat just keep on repeating it until you defeat your enemy okay guys in short you need some skills but don't worry on the next mobs or bosses we have some good strategies we are leaving this area at level 426 stat check melee and defense 230 blast fruits 818 next area is the underwater city so guys we're gonna go straight with the boss here fishman lord here's the trick just lure him there you go and wall strat or window strat or whatever you call it okay so he cannot damage you here so take advantage of this we're gonna do server hop okay until you reach level 500 and after that, moving on, next up, the Skylands. So here, our target is the Whisper. Our strategy now, we're gonna use the Rock Strat. So as long as you're standing in this rock, there's a small chance that you can get hit. So as you can see, this Whisper cannot hit me, so take advantage of that. And again, you can maximize it by doing Server Hop, okay? So we're gonna grind here until you reach level 575. And after that, you can start defeating the other boss. Yes, Thunder God. So technique here, remember the magma strat, use your skills, dodge to the side to dodge his own skills, and then use your skills, okay? Just repeat until you defeat him. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 675. Before we move to the next island, stat check. Melee 507, defense 506, Dark Fruits 1012. For the final island, the Fountain City, we're just gonna defeat one boss. The cyborg so we're gonna grind 25 levels here you need to use your skills no rock strat no wall strat so we're gonna attack him dodge attack him wait for your skills to hold down and attack him okay so again the goal here is to reach level 700 and after that you will unlock the prison quest and also we are going to unlock our final skill the full transformation good thing we are going to awaken this now at level 700 for the stats melee defense 544 dust fruits 1012 after that, we're heading to the second seat to awaken all the skills of the Phoenix Fruit. But Gamer Num, is it possible I'm just level 700? Yes guys, it's possible. Just head to the hot and cold. Ask a friend of yours to start a raid using the Phoenix chip. Okay, so let him buy the Phoenix chip for you and you can start the raid quest. There you go, as you can see, level 700. I'm in a raid. There you go, so you just need to survive and you will be teleported here. Again guys, you should survive. You should not die and you will be able to awaken your skills requirement you should have the shards okay so after that go back to fountain city to grind the cyborg until you reach level 725 and when you reach that level that is the time that you will really grind in the second cd again for the stats melee 550 defense 550 block fruits 1075 time to use all the skills of our awakened phoenix fruit Let's go! For our first target, we got the mercenaries. And for the first skill, the swift flight. Check this out, guys. Without even hitting the enemies, we can damage them. You can use this to lure your enemies without range attacks. There you go. But guys, the damage is not that high. So if you need more damage, you can use your Flame Exodus C skill. There you go. This skill really looks good. And after that, you can finish everything with the Cremation Cannon. And for those who don't know, we have a left click. Guys, yes, a left click can damage an enemy. I'm gonna show it to you. This one, boom. So guys, this fruit, once awakened, is really OP. Okay, so our goal here is to reach level 775. Next target is the Swan Pirates. You're gonna lure them using your F skill. And after that, C skill, Flame Exodus, 1Z skill. And 1C skill, and another Z skill, and that's it, guys. 
the cooldown of your skills is really short which makes this fruit really good for grinding we're gonna continue grinding here until you reach level 850 after that first mini boss in this c jeremy remember the magma strat use your skills dodge to the side to dodge these skills and use your skills one more thing i haven't showed you yet the blazing plumage v skill this will transform you into a phoenix which really looks cool your previous skills will change this is the skill next one is the swift flight there you go next one is a flame exodus guys while you're transformed your energy is draining okay just to make it clear one more thing guys the blue flames rx skill it can heal you as well as damage the enemies around you okay so those are all our skills our goal here is level 900 next area is the green zone first mob we got the marine captain so you need to defeat nine so first lure five defeat them after that lure four okay we're gonna level up 25 times here so when you reach level 925 next up is fajita or fujitora for my strategy here magma strategy and three words long range attacks i tried engaging the enemy but check it out half hp damage but don't worry we have the blue flame so it saved us as well as it defeated the enemy we are going to do server hop here until you reach level 1000 uh, check melee 560 defense 560 Box fruits 1880. Next area is the snow mountain. So we're gonna defeat only one mob here, the snow troopers. These mobs are basically the same compared to the swan parrot. So with their very easy defeat, we're gonna level up here 150 times, which means we are going to go to the hot and cold island when we reach level 1150 and start defeating the smoke admiral. Just a reminder, avoid using your C skill because sometimes your enemy gets stuck. For example, this one, see that guys? I use my C skill. And I found the Smoke Admiral here, okay? So aside from that, Smoke Admiral is one of the easiest boss to defeat. Maybe because of its low HP, there you go. So we're gonna leave this area at 1,251. Check, melee 650, defense 803, block fruits max. Next area is the Cursed Ship. So guys, first mob, the Ship Deckhands. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to defeat them. Super easy, just use your F skill. To lure and damage them. And if you wanna end it fast, use your C and Z skill okay target is 50 levels here after that we are moving on to our next target the ship stewards same strategy guys this cannot hit you while you're in swift flight so damage him if you want use your C skill for more damage and Z skill okay so another 50 levels here we're gonna leave this area at 1350 final island is the ice castle for our warm-up we're gonna defeat the Arctic warriors only 50 level ups here and after that, at 1,400, we can now start defeating the Ice Admiral. So here guys, again, remember the C skill. When you use it once, the enemy will get stuck here on top. And when you use it twice, it will disappear. So guys, avoid doing that. But guys, but if you only use it once, the enemy will get stuck on top and you can do a free hit. Okay? So again, here he is. There you go. So now you can hit him. Okay, but avoid using your C skill. Guys, I suggest you do server hop here until you reach level 1550. Okay guys, 1550. Then I hope everything's clear. When using your C skill, just do it once so that you can stalk your enemy and then defeat it. Okay, don't forget to do the Coliseum quest. Damage Indra, half HP. And after that, can now go to the green zone talk to mr captain and welcome to the third sea so guys we are going to go straight to the mob stone we're gonna skip the pistol billionaires and the pirate millionaires so there you go guys he's easy to defeat remember whisper and our magma strat but guys beware of bounty hunters there are lots of bounty hunters in the third sea but luckily this one is not a bounty hunter just someone wants to defeat stone for some experience so there you go you're gonna grind here until you reach level 1675 for the stats melee 700 defense 2025 blast fruits max for our next island we're gonna head to the hydra island we're gonna go defeat the island empress for the strategy wall strap okay so lure her inside and use your this skill also beware of bounty hunters again well anyway you're gonna do server hop again guys wall strat okay this is the best and easiest strategy so for our target level we're gonna reach 1750 in this area 
And after that, we are leaving. Let's check our stats again. Nearly 700, defense 2,250, max black fruits. For our next area, we got the Great Tree. So our enemy here is the Kilo Admiral. And guys, good news, this boss cannot hit you when you're airborne. So just fly and use your swift flight. Even, out, even without using your skills, you can damage him. So add it up with a Z skill and some C skills and everything will be easy. Again guys, this boss cannot damage you. Imagine that, okay? But there you go. Keep on grinding here until you reach level 1800. Next area is the floating turtle. For our warm up mob here, we have the fishman captains. Whenever I say warm up, it means that you need to level up 25 times with those mobs, okay? So at 1825, next mobs, the forest pirates. If there's a wall strat here, lure 4, here in this area. Guys, if you want, you can use combat, left clicks, no damage. Aside from the whirlwind, which will only damage you a little bit, okay? Again, you can do the wall strat and grind here until you reach level 1925. For the stats, Max defense and blood fruits melee 1175. Next is the Musketeer Pirate. So you can lure them with your F skill and damage them and finish it with your C skill and your Z skill. Okay, so grinding here is easy. By the way, this is the last mob in this island. So at 1975, next stop, the Hunted Castle. First and last target, the Reborn Skeletons. Guys, it's hard to use the F skill because this mobs keep on changing places. So I suggest just spam. Your C and Z skill, add it up with some of your M1s, use your V, blazing plumage, and that's it guys, okay? So what is our goal level here, Gamer Knob? Again, we're only going to defeat this mob in this area, so target level is 2,075. For the stats, max black fruits and defense, melee 1,625. Final island is the Sea of Streets. So for our first mob, the Peanut Scouts. Guys, same with the other mobs. You cannot use your F skill because they have a long range attack. So use your Z, C, and left clicks. Okay. Guys, take note. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 2200. We're gonna skip the other mobs because it's kind of hard using your skills because, again, our skills have snack back. So, again, at 2200, we are heading to the middle island of the Sea of Treats. It's located here. Guys, why? Because we're gonna defeat only one mob, the Cookie Crafters, and check this out. You can draw them using your F skill. Guys, and you can kill them by just this. I'm telling you guys, they don't have a long range attack, so F skill is enough. What if add it up with C and Z skill to make grinding faster? Okay, guys, so our goal here is max level. But Gamer Nom, I know that you will defeat K Queen for the last level, no, guys. Because I'm kind of sleepy now. It's almost 6 a.m. the Philippines. So guys, I hope that you like this video. Again, max level Phoenix Fruit Awakened. For more requests, suggestions, just comment it in the comment section. Don't forget to follow our TikTok account. And also don't forget to subscribe to our page channel. So guys, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. Max level, this is Gamer Nom. And Gamer Nom out.